Good morning, Side Dishes. How are you doing? Mary Lee and Elda here. So we had our first snowfall yesterday, kind of early November, really weird. Some parts um, of Indiana got like four and a half inches. So um, where I am, I would say between two and three inches. So I have a really busy week here at Little Star, just lots of meetings, lots going on. We have our advisory board coming into town and our advisory board board is made up of five really prominent applied behavior analysis, autism, psychology, just experts in the field who come to Little Star three times a year from all over the country and just visit us, look at what we're doing. It's just like another set of eyeballs on everything we're doing to assure quality mentorship to make sure that we're growing our, you know, our organization is going in the right way. Our clinical quality is going in the right direction. And gosh, we started the advisory board in like 2013, maybe 2012. And so some of our advisory board members have been with with us since the beginning. So on our advisory board, like I'm just humbled whenever they come into town and some of them are coming from Texas and South Carolina in warm spots. So we have to provide gloves and hats and scarves for them because they're just, you know, don't live with this cold weather day to day, but they're in town. So they'll get into town on Thursday. We meet with them for half a day Thursday, then all day Friday. I mean, it's just a jam packed day. And then we, um, then they fly out early Sunday. Sunday morning. This will be the last visit of the year. We already have next year's visits on the calendar. We start preparing for their meetings, for their visits like two months ahead of time because we really want to make sure that we're utilizing their time and they have, you know, breakout sessions, but it's a really tight schedule. So I will be sitting down and interviewing each of them. So those will be, um, you know, posted hopefully in the next couple weeks. We'll start getting those up. So I hope you have a fun week in front of you and and I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. So we moved our admin or support offices off of the center site about, I think this is our third or fourth week of being in our new building. And it's really different not being with the kids every day. And it's just a different space. I'm used to just, you know, kind of pulling up and running into the center. And here we have to, you know, pull up and, and park further away and, take an elevator and so it's just kind of different not having the kids around and being in more like a corporate feel as opposed to like a center feel but this just made a lot of sense for us to do because I'm waiting for the elevator <laughs> because um, gosh it was just like a lot less expensive to put our support staff um, in this building and then we could put use our other square footage that we were using for support and admin um, to serve more learners. So we're just all kind of getting used to it. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a tour of the center sometime. It's really nice. Like I said, we got it for a great deal. And then the previous tenants donated all the furniture that was in there. So we got like a quarter of a million dollars in furniture donated to us. So that was huge, huge, huge. So it's a beautiful space. Hello, just checking in. So long day at work. I'm glad I'm home. It's really cold outside. It's like 19 degrees. Still have a busy week ahead of me, but I had a productive day, which I'm super happy about. And I'll spend most of the evening on um, my computer, usually till nine to 11 o'clock I'll be um, online just catching up on emails and projects that I'm working on so um, that's it I hope you're having a great day and I'll check in soon hello Lou Lulu hey Scooter Scooter's happy to see mommy yes you are Scooter's happy to see mommy yes you are hello hey Lou hey Lulu A little treat for yeah, that's why Scout's paying attention to me. Where's Pipper? Oh, dear's Pipper. Pipper's having a beverage. Hey, hey Pip. <laughs> hey, guys. There's my guys. Oh, okay. There's Scooter. There's Pipper. Yeah. Pipper want me to pick him up. Okay. There we are, Pipper. Say bye bye. He's a good boy. You're okay. Yeah. Good morning. It is around 
and today is Wednesday and that is usually my work from home day and I usually try to get up between four and five and really start my day. I always call them writing Wednesdays because on Wednesdays I try to get done a lot of writing projects that I have on my plate so if I can get up early I can get started while the house is still quiet even before the dogs get up because when the dogs get up you know they want to be fed and put outside and have treats and they have to have their medicines and just a lot of stuff so I try to get up and be really quiet and sometimes I'll just you know like today I'll just turn on my fireplace and just kind of work in the dark quiet and I can usually get quite a bit done before the rest of the family starts getting up around 7 or 7 30 so that's my day I'm hoping it's going to be real productive it's very cold outside winter is here kind of early I hope you have a great productive day and I'll check in soon hi say dishes so I have a big box and I'm really excited to open it and it's from a company called Cartwright and so I have to hold Pip because if I don't, he just barks. So I don't normally hold him when I'm using sharp knives. But this is a company that makes a really neat product for people who travel. I reached out to the company and said, hey, I want to order some of these. And so I have an advisory board. So I have people that come in from all over the country to visit Little Star a couple times a year. And I always try to have, at the end of the year, like a nice Christmas gift. But I always want to get a meaningful gift, something that they will use. And so these people travel a lot. And then I also bought a couple <laughs> extra, there goes Pip. I've also got a couple extra for uh, some people on my executive team because we travel a lot. So they come in a nice box, but what these are, are basically travel kits, like a dock bag. Oh, gosh, they're really wrapped beautifully. Okay, so there's the packaging here. Privacy never looks so good, and I got two different styles, and the company was so great. I reached out and said, you know, I need a bunch of these, and I'm a not-for-profit, will you give me a discount? Um, and they did. So here's what it looks like. What a beautiful gift this will be. So this is the clam. So actually this one is for me, but we hope you fall in love with our new bag. Privacy without compromising on style. So this would be a, oh gosh, look how, this is like such a bougie gift. I'm so excited. So what a great gift this will be for somebody who travels a lot, for somebody who goes to the gym, but it's a bag, like a little makeup bag or bag that has a little combination lock on it. So when you go to hotel rooms or the gym, you know, you can lock things in here. So, I mean, really in your hotel room, if somebody wanted something in your bag, they're just gonna steal the bag. But you could leave this in your hotel room, put any medications you have, expensive earrings or jewelry. So I am really excited to give this a try and also to give it out for gifts. So I'll follow up on this, but I think this is a really great gift. Now the ones I got for men are called a brick and they're more square shape, but I'll post a picture up on what that one looks like. So I am super excited. So this is heartright.com to get the bags and it has like a nice little carrying handle as well. They're only in black right now. They come in the brick, the clam, and the mini clam. And next year, they are gonna be coming out in color. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, the short shops are all set. Um, we have all the title and abstract. Um, we're just missing one session leader for that all about development directors session. It's is Rachel on? One of the projects that I've been spending a lot of time on this year is I'm the conference chairperson for the CASP conference, which will be in January 2020. And CASP is the Council of Autism Service Providers. Um, it's a membership organization. I've been on the board for about two years and I've been, um, like Little Star has been a member of this organization for, gosh, I don't know, like six years or so. But we have, we have like weekly conference calls about getting speakers and so um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm yeah, on a conference Kayla's call right now. Um, and I'll just kind of show you the agenda like briefly. So those are just something that um, I've been spending a lot of time on. I'm really excited about. We'll have about 300 people in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'll definitely be sure to do a lot of updates while we're at the conference, which is coming up really close, but we're doing the last minute planning. So I'll talk to you soon. So, okay, tell me some more Chuck Norris facts. Mars, Chuck Norris has been to Mars. That's why there are no signs of life there. No. <laughs> no. Chuck Norris can gargle peanut butter. <laughs> 
Okay. That's a good one. Uh, Chuck Norris is currently suing NBC, claiming law and order of trademark names for his left and right legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are good ones. Yeah. I haven't heard that one. That's uh, new to me. Yeah. Uh, when Chuck Norris sent in his taxes, he sends blank forms that include only a picture of himself crouched and ready to attack. <laughs> Chuck Norris does not have to pay taxes ever. <laughs> okay. In fine print on the last page of the Guinness Book of World Records, it notes that all world records are held by Chuck Norris. <laughs> and those listed in the book are simply the closest anyone else has ever gotten. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, I haven't heard. Those are all new ones that I have not heard. Yeah. Oh, I like the one about jammies. Jim. Superman. Super, oh yeah. Some kids wear Superman pajamas. Superman wears Chuck Norris pajamas. <laughs> yeah, that one's funny. When Chuck Norris does a push-up, he doesn't push himself up. He pushes the earth down. Uh, yeah, yeah, every night before the boogeyman goes to sleep, he checks his closet for Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chuck Norris actually died 20 years ago, but death hasn't built up the courage to tell him. Oh, <laughs> that one's new. Oh, that one's a good one. Scooters. Scooter wants to... Scooter come up to see me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's my little buddy. Yeah. We'll have to put him out tomorrow and see what he thinks of the snow. He, he used to not mind the snow, so. There's Scooter Pie. Where'd you go to lunch today? Most. Oh, yeah, what'd you have? I got a burrito with ground beef, pinto beans, white queso, and shredded cheese. Oh. Was it good? Mm-hmm. Do you pick it up with your finger or hands and eat it or cut it with a fork and knife? I use a fork and a knife. Okay. And do you like their chips and salsa? Yeah, I do. I got yeah. like mild salsa. Yeah. The green one? No, I got like, it's like, I think, I think it's called Witch's Kaiser. Oh yeah, who is Kaiser Sorce? Oh, who is Kaiser? I think yeah, that's, that's what it's I called, yeah. Good morning, side dishes. It is Thursday, and I am heading to a hotel in Carmel to pick up one of the members of our advisory board, and she will be with us this morning, and then by I think like 1.30 or so, I'll be picking up the other four and they'll be joining us and we'll be starting our advisory board meetings. So it is a really long two days. It's a really long Thursday and a really long Friday. And I was up at five and I'm just hitting the road now because uh, we go dusk till dawn and then have dinners and stuff in the evening. So um, I love the advisory board when they come. Uh, you know, they offer us so much advice and guidance and I really think it was, it's one of the things that really sets Little Star apart is that we have these experts that come and look over just, you know, our clinical procedures, our policies, our organizational, um, just processes and procedures and just really, you know, help us make sure we're doing everything the best as we're growing and scaling up. So, yeah. Super busy day, happy to get out. I'll try to um, add some you know, footage of the advisory board a little later and have a great day. Hi, Sight Dishes. So, had a really busy day with our advisory board in town and now we're at Mimi Blue Meatballs to have um, a dinner with our advisory board and then some of our, our staff have come as well and we're supporting Mimi Blue Meatballs because they are a supporter of Mickey's Camp and Mickey's Camp, we were the Mickey's Camp charity uh, last year so we like to uh, support them because they support us and so I'm gonna just kinda turn the camera around so you can just kinda see the setup that we have. Okay, so we're expecting about, I don't know, 20 people tonight for dinner, so um, I'll check in later and let you know how the meatballs are. See you soon. It is Thursday night. It's about 8.30. I just got home. I had a really busy day with the advisory board. We had a good dinner and I'll be filming with all of the advisory board members tomorrow getting some good content out. I got some stuff in the mail from Tarte that I'll be excited to dig into in a week or two. So one of the things I'm kind of interested in trying is their tinted moisturizer so that looks kind of um interesting so i'm looking forward to giving that a try 
So anyway, I've had a long night. I have um, to get my clothes ready for tomorrow that I'm gonna wear, and then there's an event tomorrow night, so I need to get another outfit done. So I'll be working on pulling some clothes together, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening, side dishes. Bye.